Tales from the days before credit cards were encrypted. This is Confluent Developer. I spent a couple of years helping a large hospitality company protect their use of credit cards. There was concern about PCI penalties that they were going to start facing if they didn't get it resolved. There's a tendency to say, let's just throw everything out and start from scratch. And you just can't do that at that scale. As a 21-year-old, I was able to make a big difference. Like day one, and I'm like, what's our email address? And they're like, "Uh, we don't have one. Hey, everybody. I'm Tim Berglund. Welcome to Confluent Developer, where we explore the journeys of software developers tackling really hard problems. Today, I get to talk to a very good friend of mine, Brian Sletton, about something early on in his career. I've heard him tell this story before. We've talked about it, but I got to talk to him on air today about the time he helped a major hospitality chain actually add encryption to their stored credit card numbers. It's from a simpler time when that sort of thing is conceivable. It's a really tough problem, and Although it seems like sort of a, an ordinary workaday enterprise software kind of problem, there's a lot of real interesting growth stories in there. So very important stuff. Let's listen in. 